get our hands on this thing and see what we got. We definitely had them all around us. I'm talking literally all around us. How the emotions starting to set in. Unbelievable. <laughs> Down to the wire. He's coming in. Thank you. This week on Double Lung Outdoors, we're going to be in Lorita, Florida, hunting with Clay Gully Outfitters, KC, Zach. We're going to be chasing the Osceola turkey. We may do a little pig hunting as well as gator. We've hunted several times with them. It's a great place. We've been looking forward to it. So I'm Casey Lightner here at Clay Gully Outfitters. Um, when we put a team together of our guides, we try to make sure they're going to you know, meet everybody's needs. We got Joe and then we got Tyler Carley. Both of them take care of you. We're here to offer your experience, your good time. You know, that's something we really strive for in this company. Hey guys, it's Zach Sealer, part owner of this company, Clay Gully Outfitters. We run hunts through in Central Florida. We do everything from hogs, gator, turkey, deer, ducks, varmints, exotics, you name it. I was seventh round pick to Baltimore. Played there for almost two years. Dropped, picked up by Miami, and I finished my year in Miami now. So now I'm two hours away from the ranch. It's great. Got our lodge up here. We got 5,000 acres of continuous land. We got about 95,000 acres we hunt on. Love coming out on the weekends or during whatever I can to come out, hang out, help out, run hunts, whatever. It's just a great time. And just I think what we focus on is the experience of coming out and hunting. So we love having people out here, but we enjoy every single one of you guys that come out here and out with us. And I hope I can meet all of you. We get into Florida, and, and I mean, it's not just minutes, Casey. He said, are y'all ready? Well, we get back, get us a little bite to eat, and we start chasing pigs. And uh, uh, pigs didn't work out too great with us. Uh, he had a gator hunter in the uh, camp with him, and uh, we thought we'd go out and film it this morning. After watching the young lady get her gator, I told Jaron, I said, I need one more gator. Jaron went over, told Casey, and I dang, they called, get me a tag, and then we go to wrestling a gator. One of my guys had a hunter out here trying to kill a gator, so we figured we'd stop by. And old Kenneth couldn't resist to go ahead and get him another one, so we fire up the <laughs> drone and get all of our gear ready, and we're gonna do a gator ourselves. So the rods and reels we're using, we're using uh, some of the biggest open face they have as far as a, you know, deep sea rods. There he is right there. He's up. Is he up? Yep. Where? You just pulled him sideways. Oh, that's him yep. right yep. there. You know, I've never hunted, uh, fought, hooked a gator from the bank. Uh, you know, I've hunted them from the boat, from a pop-up blind on the Luanga River in, in Africa and Zambia and uh, crocs there. But, uh, you know, I thought I'd try it and I'm, I'm telling you, it was tough. I think we fought him for about an hour and I mean, my shoulder is about to give out, my lower back as well. We have to throw a big, you know, big hook that's got a, a hand line on it. So once you get the gator kind of tired enough, um, that first shot you put in them, you want it to be the shot. You know, you want to make sure it's 100% knocks them down. He did end up giving up. We got him in. Well, Casey, I'm back again. Yes, sir. Just a few months ago, we were here. Pulled in a big 13 footer. Here he's probably pushing nine. Yeah, nine. So yeah, we offer our year round alligator hunts, you know, your six to eight footers or your nine to tens. And then of course your big gators like you did yeah. from the boat. Um, this particular hunt we did from the bank, you know, fighting on rod and reel and finish it off with a 22. You know, it's just something we offer year round, you know, so you can hunt just like, I mean, you're here to kill a turkey. And, right. We just got a gator on the way to go set up for turkey. So Or pig hunting. Yeah, or pig hunting, yeah. yeah. We've got him tagged. We're going to get him in the truck, and uh, we're going to head to the turkey spot, put our stuff out for tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Casey. Bye, everybody. Yeah. This segment is brought to you by Talent Roofing. Quality roofing since 1987. Apple Cracker. Supercharged deer feed. Alamo Precision Rifles, the best rifles on this side of the Pecos. 
You're watching Double Lung Outdoors TV. Went and checked on the turkey spot for tomorrow and uh, Casey had actually been going back and forth for the last week kind of checking it, putting them to bed and he'd put up a pop-up under some brush. Cows had got on it. Thank God we did go over there to check the spot. We laid him out in Henry out of Jaron and remember they went over and knocked him down and just laid on him. So we uh, reset the blind for in the morning. They're roosting right here behind us, but they're pitching out towards where that bull is over there. And they're coming right up. It's just a good little pinch point right here where they're wanting to go up to. So we got it all blended in. The cows tore our original setup. Yeah, 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 no doubt. So we, we sat down and rebuilt. Looking pretty good though. Should be a pretty good morning, man. God, let's hope so. We'd love to get him knocked down first thing in the morning. Oh yeah. Well, it's come down to the morning. Uh, we're here at Lareda, Florida with Casey, Clay Gully Outfitters. We come here for a Nasciola. We did have to get up a little early this morning and we're on our way and uh, we're gonna see if we can knock this bird down this morning. First morning, first set. That shore takes a lot off of you. <laughs> good job. Yeah. yeah, he's a good looking bird too, boy. Good did you see bird. the colors? I mean, it, colors look good on him, man, I'm telling you. Well, Jaron, it don't normally happen that way, does it? No, man, that, that <laughs> definitely makes it, makes it worthwhile, man. Gator uh, yesterday. Mate, gator yesterday and turkey today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh man. Oh, he's got a good beard. Look at there. Yeah. Yeah. Good bird, man. Here we are in Florida with Clay Gully Outfitters. Osceola with the bow. First morning, first set. Jaron and I was here four years ago. We chased him and it didn't work out for us so well. Got in here probably about 5.30 this morning, and uh, birds, wait, they were roosting right over us. And uh, this time he pitched down out in a little flat over here, stayed out there for a while. He just come right on in, and, and he didn't go no more than about 30 yards. Man, they are beautiful birds. They're a tough bird. We're gonna get this thing tagged, get him loaded up, and head back. 
This segment is brought to you by Reveal Cellular Camera, always in the game. Dylan Manufacturing, fiberglass deer blinds. B3 Archery, built the best, by the best, for the best. You're watching Double Lung Outdoors TV. We're down here in Florida with Clay Gully Outfitters. We're here to hunt some hogs at night and some big gators. Flew out of Houston, Jerry and come out of Ohio. We met up in Orlando and headed down here to meet up with Casey and his crew. Uh, we met up in Orlando, got us a rent a car. We got to the lodge, we got settled in, uh, visited a little bit, and Casey suggested we go out and hunt some hogs at night. We're out here with uh, Clay Gully Outfitters. We're fixing to go out and do some hog hunting. This is KC. You want to tell them what kind of weapon we're going to use tonight? So we're using a 300 blackout stack arms. Um, we've got the pulsar on top of it for the uh, thermal imaging. So all the big boys come and play at night and try to ruin our pastures. We're going to go take care of them. Let's go do it. Let's do it, buddy. We got everything together. We loaded up on a high rack buggy, went out and uh, started running the thermal we spot some hogs. Get out of that thing and make a stalk. Get up there as close as you can. You start scanning with the thermal with, for heat signatures. Uh, we've seen cows and deer and plenty of hogs. Uh, the thing picks up quite a bit, so you gotta be careful and pick out what you're gonna take. Yeah, there's one down there. Yeah. He's flopping. Just seen a bunch of pigs try to get a shot on. We hit a couple of them. It's hard to see if they're down though in this tall grass. We'll have to go up and look. First night out on the hogs, we got a pretty big sow. Uh, we got it all cleaned up, got some camp meat. We came into the lodge, get some rest so we can head out and hunt the gators the next day. So we got up and had breakfast. Uh, sit around the lodge, relaxed, wait for the sun to get up, warm up. It gives you a better chance to see more gators like that. So I think we headed out around 10 o'clock. So once you put the boat in, uh, you just start trolling around looking for gators. We're down here in South Florida with Clay Gully Outfitters. We're fixing to go see if we can get us a big gator. Uh, you find the one you want, uh, you just got to sit there and wait and uh, they'll usually go under and you wait him out and he'll come up when you locate him. You try to get a cast out with a big treble hook and get him hooked up and from there the fight's on. We got a big gator on bending in the pole here buddy. You just got to wear him down, stay on top of him. You ever anything like this? No, never. I mean, it ain't going anywhere. He's just staying there. He's mad now. And, uh, he's fighting you. He doesn't want to cooperate. You got to, You end up getting a second hook in him. You on him now, huh? And you can wear him down from there. Eventually, once you get him up to the top of the water. Is his tail over there? You got to get a harpoon line in him. And... Ooh, buddy. How about blowing up some bicep? It's a heavier line where you can control him a little better and wear him down so you can get him up and get your shot off. <laughs> Smoke him with him. You gotta really lay into that thing. Try to find a soft spot right there in the side. It's a tough thing to do. You gotta put everything you have into it. Not hard enough. Yeah. Keep close, There's a lot of chaos going on. You know, there's three guys from Clay Gully there on the boat with you and lines are going everywhere. That gator is flipping around, rolling, and uh, these guys really know what they're doing. There you go. Through that time. That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> so with as much chaos going on on the boat, you've got to wait for the perfect shot, and it's just right below the skull cap. So finally, that, the gator came up to my left, and I was able to put one in him. It uh, worked out just perfect for me. 
So we've been out here with hooks in this thing for about an hour. And we finally got him up. We put one in the back, right in the brain, right behind the skull cap. Now we just got to get him up and get him tied off so we can haul it in. And uh, we got over to the bank and got it up as close as we could and then used a tractor to drag it up on the, up on the bank. This segment is brought to you by Elite Archery, makers of the world's most shootable bows. Kuyu, the most advanced mountain hunting clothing and equipment on earth. Clay Gully Outfitters, Florida's premier hunting and fishing facility. This segment is brought to you by Fox Pro, high performance game calls. Eberly Stock, our favorite hunting pack. Vortex Optics, the force of optics. You're watching Double Lung Outdoors TV. So with as much chaos going on on the boat, you've got to wait for the perfect shot and it's just right below the skull cap. So finally, that, the gator came up to my left and I was able to put one in. It uh, worked out just perfect for me. Last year, Kenneth came down here with Clay Gully Outfitters in search of a huge gator. I'd seen the photos and got pretty excited about it. So I reached out to KC and his guys here at Clay Gully Outfitters. Jaron and I came down and was able to harvest this giant gator here. This morning we got up and had some breakfast and uh, the place that they're going to process the gator and skin it out for me uh, wasn't too far away. So uh, we loaded up, went over there. They had it laid out on a table waiting on us because we wanted to get an idea and film uh, exactly how they do this. And man, with that thing laying up on the table, it looked bigger than it did the day before. This thing is huge. I spoke with the guy in charge there and asked him, you know, just exactly how they skin them out life size. And when we was watching them do it, they basically cut the belly from the bottom of the jaw all the way to the tail. And then they go out the bottom of both legs and they leave all four feet and the head on. So they'll flesh it, they'll roll it up, freeze it. And then by freezer truck, they'll ship it to my buddy Ben at Tri-State Taxidermy down in Houston, Texas. Today we're looking for something in the seven to eight foot range. Uh, it's kind of the perfect size if you're wanting to make a purse or a backpack or anything like that. So hopefully we'll be successful. Now a lot of people go after, you know, trophy gators, you know, that's what they think, you know, yeah, that's what I want to do on a mount full body, but you know, what you could do with a gator is endless. You know, you could do handbags, you could do boots, you know. I think Paul's having a pair of boots made with, you know, four or two uh, four foot gators, you know, so that way it's just the top form back. You know, so whatever you want to do and whatever you can imagine, we can make it happen for you. This time we decided we were going to do a spot and stalk from the bank. Uh, we finally located one and uh, once I got the hook in him, man, the fight was on. This thing's five foot smaller than the one I did yesterday and uh, they fight just as hard if not harder. So fighting it from the bank is a lot different than the boat. Uh, this, this gator seemed to run more. Um, you know, you're running up and down the bank, you're trying to dodge, you know, bushes and stuff that are in the way, you got to keep your pole up. It was a pretty good fight. He's tired. So once we got him wore down and got him up close to the bank, I had to switch and hand the pole to KC. Once he pulled him up, you know, I had to wait for a good shot to get one in the brain. He turned a little bit to the left and we put one in him. Man, what a fight. <laughs> Yesterday we were hunting big gator. We were successful. 
killed a nice giant. Talked to KC about uh, wanting to get a, an alligator for uh, some leather to make a bag or something. And he suggested that we do something in the seven to eight foot range. This is what we were looking for. And it's gonna make some beautiful leather. If anybody's interested in hunting giant gators, you guys need to reach out to KC here at uh, Clay Gully Outfitters. You will have a good time. KC, thanks man. We had a blast down here. I hope you guys have enjoyed the show. We're gonna end this hunt. We wanna thank everybody for watching Double Lung Outdoors here at Clay Gully Outfitters in Laredo, Florida.